And on this one, they needed to say no, whatever the discipline procedure was, it needs to be uh, swiftly administered and a sharp rebuke. See, and they didn't do any of that. See, some failing some people would say that, you know, fining a football is not really a punishment. They've got so much money that, you know, a, a, a fine... It's even, still even, 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 two weeks. Even, but of course, that's the maximum wages. they can fine yeah. them. But that actually, the only way you can punish a footballer is to stop them playing. And that's the only way you can really punish a footballer. Yeah, would it, would it really have punished him? It takes him out of the firing line in some ways. You know, some people would say, well, actually, he's getting away with it a little bit. Something we'll be talking about something else next week. You know, when we look at sort of violence in society and we look at maybe lack of discipline in society, you look at respect and you look at respect to others. This is something that is, to me, ultimately corrosive in society. Yeah. And if you want to stop that, if you want to say we have high standards in this country, which we do, on animal welfare, how we treat others, you know, uh, less powerful creatures and people, a message really did need to be OK, sent fine, out. but he need... It in addition to that, West Ham, in conjunction with the RSPCA, and the RSPCA, we should say, have not actually acknowledged receiving any money yet, so we don't actually know if any funds have been transferred, but that's what West Ham said they're going to do, and they're going to give it the money to animal welfare charities as well. But this is, all a, this is about rehabilitation as well. He's got to go out, to me, he's got to go out in the community with the RSPCA, he's got to out, go out on patrol and understand the effects that animal cruelty has on these creatures and what they go through and the fear that they experience, especially when, I mean, Kurt Zoom was six foot four. And he's kicking a cat around a room and his brother's filming it. I mean, somebody in that WhatsApp group must have been absolutely appalled by what was going on to then leak it to a newspaper. And so he needs to... That's part of the rehabilitation. He needs to understand the consequences of his actions. And that, that to me, that goes beyond whether he plays football or not. That goes, beyond, that goes into the realms of education and getting out into the local community and finding out what the animals go through, the trauma and the suffering they, they experience.